Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and I have a 3D project to share with you using the Climbing Orchid Stamp Set and the Orchid Builder dies. So for Stamps in the Mail Club, everything is pre-die cut for you, including all the fun shapes for this project. Um, but this is a photo uh, hanger, so you could put the photo in right here in the center. And actually in my video um, tutorial uh, for my blog, I have a picture of one, of one with my beautiful niece in it. So um, the flowers for this are die cut, they're gorgeous, and they really showcase all that climbing orchid can be. So let me uh, give you some tips for putting this project together and we'll get stamping. Use your printed directions if you want, otherwise you can just keep an eye on this project. And for this I am going to start building the photo frame. So I have this cut, it is 4 inches by 6 inches, yep, 4 by 6 inches, and it's a piece of tag board um, that it goes along with, uh, I think it was on the back of like a designer series paper or something like that. Um, Oh, I think it actually came in a card kit, maybe. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And since I am going to use this as a project that um, is sort of three-dimensional and stays that way, I am using uh, Fast Fuse to stick my layers together so that I don't have any um, adhesive mishaps over time. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this Foil Frenzy layer down flat. And Foil Frenzy comes in um, three different patterns for each of the colors included in the package. So your color in your kit might vary. But then I'm going to grab my paper um, punch and just punch a hole. There we go. Or you can use a crocodile if you've got one handy. Um, you can do whatever you need to. But I'm going to go ahead and punch these and then string my ribbon. And for the ribbon, um, I'm actually going to put it from the back, let's see, we make this a little pointier, from the back through to the front, and go ahead and tie a knot here in the front. And you can actually, if you tie it carefully, you can get it so that you end up with like a little loop. There you go. You see how we have that little loop in the front there that helps to hold that? And then same thing on this side, I'm going to put my ribbon through from the back. There we go. And you can pull it tight to, um, I just pulled it tight so that I had enough length to go ahead and tie my bow. But then I'm just going to hold that little, I'm holding the little loop on the end and just pulling the back through. Kind of like a French knot, but a little bit simpler. Okay. And there is our frame backing. All right, the next thing is the um, this circle is die cut with these layering circles, and this is die cut for you with stitched uh, stitched framelits, stip shaped framelits, and I love them together. Um, they're sized perfectly. So there is our mat, and that brings us to our branch and our flowers. So the branch is actually from another die set altogether. It is from the Seasonal Layers Thinlets dies, which has, well, you can see all my messy pieces. It's the one that has that chair in it and the leaves and the, this is the gorgeous branch and snowflakes and stuff. This is a really great set to have, actually, for all different things that came out this summer. But my favorite for this project is this pretty branch. So this is going to go down here, and I'll talk to you a little bit about how to attach those. I have some cool cheating ways to do that. And then I have our die cut pieces. So... I'm going to go ahead and grab these, and I'm going to ink up. I'm, on my sample, I used the um, stripey one, but I'm going to go ahead and use the spotted um, shape for this one. So you're going to line these up and go ahead and stamp on all of your pieces. So there's the three layer, um, here's the two layer, and the nice thing about this stamp set is that you can really do um, kind of what you want with it as far as how much you want to die cut, how little you want to die cut. Why is this not? Okay, if it doesn't match up, it's because your stamp is facing the wrong way. There we go. Um, so for the big flower, I'm gonna go ahead and use the three die cut pieces. Here's the little center. Um, for the center one, I'm going to stamp off. Oops, stamp off twice, and then stamp here on my cardstock so that I have a really light color, and then when I go back and add the detail for it, I'm going to use full strength on this. And 
there are three little things on here so you can remember to kind of match up the shapes on your front. Okay, so there's going to be one flower, but the second flower, I'm going simple. I just die cut the whole shape um, just as one, and so I have kind of a focus flower and then sort of a background flower, and so that is going to be this one. But you want to use the same trick, stamp off twice, so you get a really nice light color um, for your background, and then you can use full strength here, and even though it's tiny, it's the same. Um, one, two, three piece as the big one. Okay, so let's talk about assembling. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and use um, a sponge dauber to add some daubering to the center of your pieces before you assemble. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this one plain. And when you're putting the orchid pieces together, I recommend kind of turning them to see which way you like them the best. There we go. And then I am actually going to um, go ahead and put dimensionals between each layer because why not, right? And the center is going to get covered up here by our final piece. Um, and this one you can probably fit a whole dimensional on. Otherwise, someplace here, oh, there we go. I have little mini dimensionals and you can pop a mini dimensional on the back there that will set this up. All right. And then I have a bigger dimensional on the back. And this is how we're gonna do our um, my little um, secret. So I'm gonna actually position my branch and then I'm going to figure out where my orchid is gonna go. I think it's gonna fit down here so it overlaps the hole just a little bit. And then I'm going to put a dimensional on the branch there to hold it in place. And then when I add my orchid, then that is really nicely adhered so the branch isn't going anywhere. And then you can do the same trick here for the second one. So I'm gonna put my orchid back here and layer it just a little behind, I think, to give it some detail um, or some dimension. And then I have, woo, <laughs> had the little piece here um, to add to it. And if you're not sure which direction the orchid blossom center is supposed to go, you can look right there on the uh, on the stamped image so that you can have that little cheat, okay? And then your picture is gonna go right here. You can cut out a circle, you can put a square in there, you can do whatever you like with it. You could even stamp um, a greeting. There's a great one in the stamp set that says, here we go, enjoy today. So you could even stamp enjoy today across there if you want. Um, but otherwise this makes a neat little um, gift for somebody or uh, a little place to showcase somebody's picture that is special to you. So anyway, um, if you would like to request your own Stamps and Mail Club kit, I do have a couple left. Um, just drop me a line. I have some sneak peeks for you though. If you're a Berry Burst fan, there is new Berry Burst ribbon coming in the Occasions catalog. Ah! So here it is. If you haven't gotten one of these in the mail yet um, and you don't have a demonstrator that you work with, uh, make sure you let me know and I'd be happy to send you a copy of the new Occasions catalog. It starts on January 4th and this silver edge berry burst ribbon is so much fun. Um, these silver boxes are coming too and then check out this gorgeous designer series paper. So that is one sneak peek for you. Um, and then I have another sneak peek that is also sort of in this purple vein. And it is from the Celebration Catalog. Um, this one I just posted the other day on my um, Instagram feed because uh, I was using my sewing machine to do these little stitch lines. But this one uh, is done Sweet Sugar Plum and Fresh Fig. And new oh, black and white paper to go with the black and white washi from the... Um, from the catalog and I almost opened this to show you. I couldn't wait to show you, but I can't. So um, these are going to be available online starting January 4th. If you are interested in joining my uh, Loven Stamfuls family as a demonstrator, you can get these things now. Um, or probably since we're so close to January 4th, your best bet is to just wait till January 4th because during celebration, uh, starting January 4th, that runs through March 31st. If you order $50, you get a free stamp set, of which this Lots of Lavender set is one of them. Um, but if you, uh, if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you actually get two free stamp sets of your choice. So it could be from the Occasions catalog, could be from the big catalog, um, anything you want. So that is in addition to the discount that you get on the demonstrator starter kit. So 
I have information on signing up to be a demonstrator on my website. I would love to have you. There's demonstrators from all over the country on our team. Um, we have a great time together. And uh, otherwise, I look forward to having you see the inside of these on uh, January 4th when they're available on my website. So. Happy stamping. Let me know if you have questions about Celebration or the Occasions catalog. If you didn't get these and you're one of my customers, please let me know. Um, I mailed them. Uh, they've already been mailed, so you should have them in your hands and have your wish list already started. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator to work with, again, uh, you can request catalogs on my demonstrator website. I'd be happy to send them to you. And uh, I can't wait to share projects with you. I've been playing. There's some great new products in these. so. It will be fun. Happy stamping.